it's time for the video of the day. I'm your host, Greg. Welcome. Um, this is going to be 2016, the year in review. Um, this has been one wild year. I mean, if you look towards sports, the Cubs, after, what is it, 103, 104 years, finally, finally win the World Series. And uh, I remember that because I got to listen to the game. Because he remembers 105 years ago. <laughs> yes, ladies and gentlemen, Charlie is here. Mm -hmm. This is the video of the day, not the Charlie and Foob show. But the Cubs winning the World Series, I mean, how dramatic was that? Um, and the deaths that came through this year. Oh, my goodness. Um, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali died this year. Uh, he was taken from us. Of course, he'd, he'd, been, battling, uh, he'd been battling for a long time with, with his sickness. Um, just recently, Alan Thick um, from, uh, was it Growing Pains? It was the father on Growing Pains. He's, he recently passed away. Uh, David Bowie. David Bowie passed away. I, I was never a big David Bowie fan, but you know he, he passed away. Prince, another one. Another musical uh, talent that passed away this year. Um, Nancy Reagan, Ronald Reagan's uh, wife, um, she passed away this year. Of course, uh, just here in the last, what, few days, week, uh, Carrie Fisher, Princess Leia from, from Star Wars, um, she passed on. Uh, of course, this wouldn't be a 2016 year in review without Willy Wonka. Gene Wilder, the original Willy Wonka, passed away this year. Um, for those of you in uh, in the wrestling uh, area, China, the one who played China, I think her name was Jean or something like that. I, I can't remember what her name. You know what her name was? I don't remember what her name was. But she was referred to oh, as yeah, China. It was China. Ah, the man's a comedian. Anyway, um, another musical talent, George Michaels, yeah. also passed away. Um, how can we possibly forget? How can we possibly forget Ma Brady, Florence Henderson, who also passed away, um, and then of course the one that was very personal to me, Alan Rickman passed away. Now you might think, Greg, who's Alan Rickman? If you don't know who Alan Rickman is, you need to go back and watch the Harry Potter movie. <laughs> yeah. And when my wife sees this, she's gonna, get, oh God, here he goes on Harry Potter. <laughs> Alan Rickman, among all the great roles that he's played in his career, uh, played Severus Snape in the Harry Potter um, series. Um, but it, I mean, just so many, so many stars that passed away. And there's other ones too. Um, yeah, that guy. The guy that did the voiceover for the Heat Miser for for uh, Year Without a Santa Claus, he passed away just recently. Um, Man, I can't think of any others off the top of my head. Um, there was the astronaut. Who, who was it? John Glenn. John Glenn. John Glenn, you know, one of the astronauts that landed one on the moon. One of the first men on, in outer space. Well, one of the first men in outer space. Of course, Charlie has been in outer space for years. Still is. <laughs> he still is. <laughs> but uh, just a lot of a lot of uh, a lot of big things have happened this year. Of course, uh, back here in November. Um, Donald Trump, a non-political candidate, running as a Republican and and uh, wins the election. Um, you know, possibility of our our first female president was also uh, you know on the block. Let's say, I guess you could say on the chopping block. <laughs> the what? The harpy block. The, har the harpy block. Yeah, she's a harpy. She's a harpy. I don't understand how she's a harpy, but. Okay, if you understand, explain it in the comments. But what I'd like to hear from you guys is what has made 2016 good or bad? Or should I say, what has made your 2016 good and or bad? Um, I'd like to read about it in the comments. Kelly. <laughs> Charlie. Kelly has made his 2016 good and bad, apparently. Uh, I think I think what getting hit by the car. Yeah, that was pretty cool. <laughs> was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Getting almost hit by lightning, five death threats. Boy, he's been around. This 2016 hasn't been real good for him, has it? So I guess Kelly's the only good thing. 2016 for me. Well, let's see. Um, 
in December, of course, I was married for four years to my lovely wife. But 2016 saw me leave a large trucking company that treated me like a number to come to a smaller trucking company that treats me more like a person. And that's, of course, that's a good thing. That's a good thing to me. Um, you know, just, just, seeing, just seeing my family begin to prosper just a little bit. A wee little bit, just a wee little bit. Um, weed? You say weed? <laughs> see, you say weed. What's he? Do? He gets his full attention as soon as you say weed. <laughs> he ain't right. <laughs> anyway, um, I here's another one right there. He's sitting right there, right. having my uncle Charlie come back home, and and uh, he's staying with us. Although sometimes he's a pain in the butt, he's still my uncle Charlie, and I still love him. Anyway, he's getting ready to be sick over here. I don't think y'all want to watch that. But anyway, so let me know what was good and or bad about your 2016. Leave it in the comments column down below. I'm going to wrap this up right here. I'm going to put this together and I'm going to get it posted as soon as possible. Because I'm not going to be home for the New Year's weekend. So, um, in any event, I want to wish everybody a happy New Year. I, I hope that it's going to be safe and prosperous 2017 for everybody. Have a happy food beer. A happy food beer? Oh, jeez. Anyway, so everybody have a happy new year. Remember, like, comment, share. Go to my YouTube channel. Share it off my YouTube channel and whatever social media that you want to share it with. Um, please feel free to share it. Get the word out there that Greg the Crazy Trucker is on the air with the video of the day. And until next time, see ya and Happy New Year!